Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about products I've been loving in the month of October. So, um, it's been a while since I filmed because if you watched one of my previous videos, it was a get ready with me. I told you guys that I am living between two homes right now. So I haven't had as much time to film. So I'm really excited to be filming today. And I'm going to try not to take too long to go over my favorites. <laughs> I do want to tell you guys, this is not a favorites, but I just wanted to get in the Halloween spirit. I don't know why. <laughs> I wanted to get in the spirit of Halloween, so I got my black nails on today. And this is Kiss Spirit Animal, the Halloween lashes that I'm wearing. You may be able to see it on camera, I'm not sure, but there's a little bit of sparkle and glitter in the lashes, so that's my little Halloween bit. I guess I could have put a pumpkin in the background. So let's just go ahead and dive into my favorites. I'm going to start with this one because I need to put some on right now. This is the Chakra Nourishing Body Cream. And it's like a little lime green yellow cream. It was sent to me to review and I started using it and I just went crazy with it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to empty this before I can film the video. It's a body cream and it smells like Fruit Loops. Just to give you a point of reference, I'm not sure how much it costs because it was sent to me to review, but I will link it down below. I have really been enjoying this and there are all natural ingredients listed in this product. They sent me a healing mask. This is a healing body scrub mask. They sent that to me as well and I haven't used that but one time, but this I use a lot and I like it a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and empty it in the month of October. Like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to shout this product out and let you guys know it's a favorite. This is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and I got this one with my points. So it's a small size and I wanted to use this entire container before I consider purchasing this primer because a couple of people have told me that it makes them break out. I haven't experienced that, although I am purging a little bit here, but I haven't used this the last couple of days, so I don't think this had anything to do with it. It's something else that I used on my skin, I think, that caused me to break out a little bit. But I used this for like a week or two straight, and I didn't have to use very much. And I do think that it helped my foundation grip to my skin and last longer and stay on longer. Like it came in this little container here. I like this so much that the next time I went to Sephora, I picked up another one. So this is a really, really good primer. I also went back to my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. A lot of these products are favorites because I took them with me when I went to my temporary home and I hadn't been using them in a while. And I was like, oh, this is so good. Why did I stop using this? And this is one of those products. I fell in love with this all over again. I am almost on empty here. Like I've got a few more weeks left where I can use this and then it will probably be empty but this lasts so long and you kind of look at this in the store and just think it's moisturizer but it is a primer and it is good for oily combo skin it is very good mm -hmm. I fell in love again with my Tarte Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer this one is the limited edition one and I've been using that again loving it and really do like using it in my t-zone where my pores are it makes my skin look so smooth i used it today i also used the bobby brown primer as well this is so so good guys i talked about this before this is the infallible fresh wear foundation and it's probably the best drugstore foundation i have I used to love the Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation. That was my favorite drugstore foundation ever. And I have so many backups of it and I still love that. But this one looks very high end when I wear it. I can never believe that this is a drugstore foundation. This one is 505 Toffee. It's amazing. The only bad thing is the fragrance, but it just gives you such a beautiful natural finish. I have been loving this. 
Talk about that one all the time. Still gotta tell you, I love it. This one is new to my collection. This is the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. When I wore this, I met my best friend for breakfast one day and she was like, what foundation are you wearing? Because it looks really natural. This foundation is gonna give you that natural, no makeup makeup look while still covering everything. Okay, it doesn't look very cakey and heavy on the skin. It looks really lightweight, like you almost have on nothing. And I like the fact that it's plastic. Even the um, the L'Oreal one is glass, but I actually like that it's very compact and plastic because this is still an ounce and you I can hardly believe it. This is the shade Tan Y400 and again, it is an ounce. I had to look, it's an ounce. Yep, 1.08 fluid ounces is how much this one is. Youthful look. 24 hour foundation broad spectrum sunscreen spf 25 okay 24 hours i think this one is 24 hours too the l'oreal is also 24 hours that might be why i like them so much they wear a long time and look beautiful all day mm -hmm. also have been wearing the la mer the soft fluid foundation and this is the shade amber i'm wearing it today today i filmed my comparison video to my first shade honey i still like honey as well honey is very light but i love the undertone of honey it's more neutral this one is more warm but i have been wearing this one a lot this month and just like always beautiful i have been enjoying it so i did want to shout out the la mer although it is 120 dollars usually my skin looks pretty good with la mer i like the skincare in it and i like the way my skin looks when i wear it this powder i have really been loving this this month but then i wore it today for my video and i just kind of felt so so about it this is the La Mer powder and it's $95 and it's not even a full ounce. It's like 0.28 ounces. It's luxurious, it's beautiful, and I really have been enjoying how my skin has been looking when I wear this. But today I just felt kind of so-so. So it may be the lights in here, I don't know. But I still wanted to kind of say it's been a favorite. Make sure you check that video out and see how you like it. I'm not wearing it right now. So just make sure you check out the video when I post that video to see how you like it yourself. But I have been enjoying it up until today. I kind of felt like, oh, I don't know if it's worth the full $95. Let me know what you think if you have this powder. Let me know what you think about it. I think my skin has been beautiful as I've been wearing this. But today I was just kind of on the fence. I feel a little bit rushed today, but it's because I have so many things I want to talk about. I really do. Concealers that I've been using this month. I have really been loving the Bye Bye Under Eyes by It Cosmetics. It is very different than other concealers. It has a very emollient look, like it's more emollient under my eyes. It says full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer. Waterproof. And um, this one is in rich tan. And I actually have it on today, but I'm thinking, I think I mixed in my NARS Radiant Creamy. I've really been enjoying this. I think it does a good job of correcting my under eyes. Let me um, put a little bit on here. It's a squeezy tube, and I kind of have mixed feelings about the squeezy tube. But I, I don't know if you guys will be able to see. I didn't want to waste too much of it, but is it is very, see that shine? Can you guys see the shine there? That is what makes this very different for me. It has a shiny um, finish, but look at how well it's concealing, like on my hand. It's, it conceals very well. So if you are older and you have drier under eyes, if you have dry skin, you're gonna love this. You would love this. But I would say use it for your under eyes like I would not highlight with this just because of this consistency it's very tacky so it's very unusual but I like it a lot get out my my trusty coconut wipes I love this guys still love this too nothing's changed still loving that I purchased these coconut wipes more than any other facial wipe ever I love it. The NARS Radiant Creamy and Biscuit, just to give you a comparison, it is, um, I, it's just, oh. 
This is a ride or die concealer for me. It is not a matte concealer and it is not as an emollient as the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. It just gives you this beautiful full coverage while not drying your under eyes. I talk about it on my channel all the time. I cracked this one open. I think this was a new one for me. So I re-upped on it and I wasn't using it all the time, but I'm using it now and loving it again. I'm so in love with NARS Radiant Creamy. Other concealer that I have been loving, this is Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is what it looks like. And this one is in shade 145 Warm Beige. And this concealer sort of looks a little bit like my Radiant Creamy, actually. I don't think it's too matte. The dry down is nice. And I don't experience creasing with this one. Like, it is the best drugstore. Like, there was a NYX concealer that I used to use back in the day that was my favorite drugstore concealer ever. Ever. And this one is giving that one a run for its money. I reach for this voluntarily like it's one thing to buy drugstore makeup and wear it for videos just to give you guys drugstore options it's another thing when you use drugstore on purpose you have high-end products that you could be wearing and you intentionally reach for the drugstore version that's saying something and that's what this is this is a product that i intentionally reach for and i will choose this over my high-end products this is that good. So if you're looking for an affordable concealer and it's got the doe foot applicator and everything, just like um, the, the NARS Radiant Creamy has a doe foot, this one does too. Very good. Other than the La Mer powder, um, I, I really was using my Hourglass powder a lot too, but I've talked about that one. That's nothing new. The Peach Perfect, I have not talked about in a while here on my channel I took this one with me because I had it tucked away in my drawer I stopped using it as much because I really wanted a brighter under eye but for everyday makeup I don't necessarily need that so I have really been using this one a lot every single day as my all-over face powder I will sit under my eyes and all over today I didn't today I use this powder and I also use my beauty bakery underneath my eye like in my t-zone for my everyday work look, I have really been using this one a lot. It still smells like peaches and it is so matte. It gives you such a matte look and it has like the, you know, the sifter cover so it doesn't make a mess, but it mattifies so perfectly. It gives you such a beautiful finish. Mm. This is top notch. This is so good. Oops. This is top notch. <laughs> it is so, so good. So I went back to it and I was like, oh, I missed you. I missed you so much. It's by Too Faced. Love it. Can I do a little bit of skincare for a minute? This was one of those products I was sent to review as well. This is Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. And you can get it on Beautylish. And it has a little spatula that I use. And I have been digging around in here. I don't know if you can see how much I've used, but I've been using it. This stuff is good. And I think this brand is pretty affordable on Beautylish. So I got really excited about it because I like cleansing balm to remove my makeup and then I'll follow with a cleanser. And my Clinique, as well as the pharmacy brand, are a little bit expensive. This one is... $15 and it is 2.5 ounces so you get less I think less product I'm not gonna do a whole comparison I'm not gonna look up the other one too but it seems like it's this is less than what I would get but still I don't have to use very much and it is effective so if you're looking for another brand of cleansing balm that is not so so expensive then you may want to give them a try it smells nice I haven't had any issues with um, my skin as a result of using this. This is good. It is effective. It removes my makeup. I like it. I'm glad they sent it to me. I like their other products too. There's Pure Cold Press Rosehip Seed Oil. I've been using that. I have tried out 
the overnight exfoliating treatment. This one is the Super Peptide Serum. I've used that one too. Let's, I'm going to open it up just so you guys can see. Um, it's like a clear serum. It's formulated with tripeptides to target fine lines, wrinkles, and dullness. I can't tell you for sure how effective those are because I just started using them. I'm going to use them. I think this is a more affordable brand. So I'm really pleased with this skincare. You know I love myself some skincare. Right now, the cleansing balm is my favorite right now because I know for sure it's really effective. These are going to take some time for me to see how effective they are. But that seems to be a good brand you might want to check out. So I hauled this recently and this is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is the Intense Fragrance. I have been loving this. Oh my gosh, I think I've been loving it too much because I know that looks full to you, but I haven't had it that long. I will probably continue to buy the Intense because I can smell it longer. It's just really, really good. So y'all know my Instagram name is inspired by this, Light Blue 804. This is the Peter Thomas Roth ultra light oil free moisturizer i have really been loving this product um it looks kind of blue i think sort of a bluish white it is one of those moisturizers like i don't like to wear this by itself because it feels more tacky but i found that i love this under makeup it has hyaluronic acid in it aloe vera antioxidant this is one of those gel moisturizers that helps your makeup not look super oily okay so your makeup will wear really well with this moisturizer this is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel it's so good this is so lightweight on my skin I will certainly repurchase this one I don't remember it being super expensive I think I got it at Sephora when we had like a sale for the associates this is good for a combination oily to oily skin so just like the Peter Thomas Roth my makeup has been wearing beautifully with both of these moisturizers so I've kind of been going between the two and this one just seems to be really good for my skin I don't think that this has any fragrance <laughs> I think I saw somebody else buying it other people were buying it and I'm like this must be good let me talk about hair care for a second then I'll go back to some makeup back to some skincare this is the Garnier Fructis sleek and shine anti-frizz serum my daughter turned me on to this I think she had it on I was like why is your hair so shiny um and I could smell it a little bit it smells really nice it smells kind of fruity and mine is almost empty here so it will be going in my empty pile in a second and I will be repurchasing it does really well on my natural curly hair it just gives my curls this nice shine and it actually seems to help them drop a little bit I have a lot of shrinkage you guys would not believe how long my hair actually is like my hair is really long I did use this today too but sometimes it shrinks even more than it has today so so but this helps a little bit with my shrinkage and it just helps my hair look shinier so uh, this is good and it is affordable you can get it at Walmart okay more hair care stay with me guys stay with me go stay with me goose. so the diva curl leave-in decadence this is a leave-in conditioner this I got with my points guys I think I got three or four of these that's how much I liked it and I was like I might as well use my points up and when I'm out of them I'll probably go buy it this is a really good leave-in conditioner it says ultra moisturizing leave-in conditioner 100% sulfate paraben silicone free so have really really been loving this it was a point perks at Sephora so so good for my hair have been loving it I also made a switch this is the Mazzani hairdress I use a Mazzani true textures curls coils waves it's in a similar container. When I went to buy the other one, I couldn't find it. I think they still have it, but probably at another beauty supply store. So I just decided to pick this up just so I'd have something. And this is more like a moisturizing cream for your hair. And I have found that this is really good on my hair. I don't necessarily need anything to make my hair curlier or anything like that. I just need it to not be frizzy and like keep growing throughout the day. And this adds so much moisture to my hair. Because I added this to my routine, 
I have started really loving my Diva Curl Super Cream. This is a coconut curl styler, defining control. And before when I was using this, I felt like my curls were too defined and too tight and I didn't use this that much. But because this kind of adds so much moisture and weighs my hair down a little bit in a good way, this has been really working well too. So I've been using this a lot. And then I also, before I moved, was using this a lot. So anyway, these are just products that are really good for my natural curly hair that I wanted to pass along and tell you guys about. Oh, another thing, let me tell you guys this too. This is a Sephora Coconut Nourishing Oil. Sephora now has hair care products. I just picked this one up. It was really, really affordable. Anything in the Sephora collection, except for the brushes, <laughs> is typically more affordable and some of the eyeshadows. <laughs> it's typically more affordable than some other products. You can save a little bit of money buying from Sephora collection. And I have really liked this in my hair. I haven't used it on my face, but I might try it on my face soon. But I didn't want to waste it because I like it on my hair. For my face, I've been using my Capari Save Face Oil. It has a dropper. It is like a coconut oil. And this feels like silk on your face. Like, it just, oh, it's so silky. It is expensive, but it is so silky. So, I love wearing this at night when I go to bed. Really good. This is the Kale Green Tea and Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. It's Youth to the People, I think is the name of the brand. This is good. I got this as gratis and I like it so much that I purchased the full size. <laughs> I purchased the full size. It just hasn't arrived yet and it has a pump on it. So I'm going to leave this one. When I get the full size, I'm going to take the larger one with me to my apartment and I'm going to keep this one here. But I was trying to decide what cleanser I was going to purchase because I'm kind of out of everything and I wanted to switch it up because I've been using this smaller one and my skin has been doing so well until I did a treatment that kind of purged everything but up until recently I have not had any breakouts or any issues with my skin and I've been using a few different products. I've been using this, that Clinique moisturizer, the Peter Thomas Roth. Like I've kind of eliminated some of my vitamin C and so I'm like, let me just stick with what's been working. This has been really good and it cleans like a dream. Like your skin is gonna feel so clean after you're done with this. This is good, good stuff. This, is so good guys <laughs> this one right here is bay this is like the best lip gloss lush lip gloss by dose i repurchased this and i can't remember if this is the original one i had or the new one because i did buy it again i got it in a beauty con box that's how long ago i was introduced to this brand but i actually went on the website and bought several other shades that's how much i like this lip gloss and this one i cannot remember the name of it but i will be sure to link it i went back to it because i took it with me i'm like oh gosh i love this i just wish they would come out with a nude i don't know why they don't have a nude well that would just make my dreams come true if they had it in nude this is latte that i'm wearing today milk latte i think and it's like a brown so it's a perfect fall one but i mixed it with other things because it's really dark and i didn't want to wear it um just so you can see kind of i've been mixing it today with something else <laughs> to get the shade i want for today so this is shimmer of hope by gerard cosmetics and that's kind of what I have on. I also have on my Tom Ford lipstick with this. I put that on. This is Sable Smoke. But it is one of these like really super high shine lips. And it wears all day. And I've just really always loved this color. I love the color. And I like how it wears. I just wish they had a nude and when I say nude like a color like the shimmer of hope or the nude by Gerard cosmetics or my Marc Jacobs sugar sugar 
something like that i just wish they had that it's an online company but it is so high shine and long wearing and opaque it is the best lip gloss formula gosh so good i have really been using this pro flawless airbrush this is really like a foundation brush this is the number 56 but i use it a lot to apply concealer i took this one with me instead of my sigma brush that i always use because i would rather have my sigma brush here and i took this with me and this has been so good for under my concealer areas like i don't know it's just it fits nicely it's a small brush so you can use it all over that's what its intent is but i like it for my concealer areas so just wanted to mention that one again and of course y'all know i love my number 49 brush my angled bronzer brush this is also a sephora brush okay sephora number 49 i talk about it all the time it's just been my best bud since I've been gone, I love it for applying bronzer. It's just so good. Had to shout it out. One more again. One more again. This is a pencil sharpener by NARS. And it is only $6 at Sephora. I got it because my pencil sharpener was eating my Urban Decay pencil alive. And this one has been better than the other as far as not eating this pencil getting a good sharpener is really important if you're using pencil this is like the best eyeliner i'm wearing it today but you know it is a pencil and so i bought this to help me save this <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. this is another skincare product that i did want to mention i hauled it and i wanted to tell you guys this is so good this is so good it's got two things in it dermalogica power couple double cleanse and it has like this pre-cleanse that everyone talks about and it is really good it's like a cleansing oil but it doesn't feel so oily to me but it really does a good job of removing makeup and then this is like a gel cleanser that you use to follow it very good um another skincare that i really liked is the lala retro whipped cream i can't see it because it had a sticker on it i got this as gratis and i talked about this in a previous video it pumps out like here i'm trying not to pump that much but and then you just take it off the top it's a very thick cream i like putting this one on at night i guess you could wear it in the daytime but i like wearing this as my kind of night cream it's a nice heavy feeling cream like i feel like i'm really adding moisture but it just feels so good on my skin this is the brazilian bum bum or boom boom cream set that you can get at sephora and i think they have it again that's why i wanted to tell you guys about it i bought it a while ago and just kind of stashed it away and i decided to take it with me um when i left and it's got the spray the body wash and the cream the bum bum cream and this little travel and aren't they little they're so cute did you cute they do cute <laughs> But look at it. It's so cute. It's so cute. If you like little travel sets like this, and if you want to try it, but you kind of think it's really expensive, this is a good way to try it. I mean, it's not going to last as long, of course, because it's not very much. But you could probably use this for an entire month. I mean, maybe. If you use the Bum Bum Cream all over, it won't last long. I think this maybe was $25 or something like that. It's a good way to try all three of these products and you get enough of it where you can really get a, a feel for whether you like it. So wanted to tell you guys about it because I think it's at Sephora again right now. I can't say yet whether this is a favorite. I have been using this Nurse Jamie, but I haven't used it enough to see if it makes a difference. So it's a Nurse Jamie uplift it's a massaging beauty roller it does feel really good on the skin i like it but i don't know how much you have to use this in order to see results so i'll continue to use it and see if i can figure out if it's worth anything <laughs> i have really fallen back in love with, with this this is the milani luminoso number five blush i have a new one i don't know if i mentioned that in a previous video or not but every time i talk about this blush 
I have this ratty old one that I have still, I might have finally thrown it away, I don't know. But I decided to go out and buy a new one. It was time to get another one. So I bought this and it does have something underneath it. What's under it? A brush. I haven't used the little brush. And I don't know if you can see that it's this really peachy color. And you would think maybe it wouldn't show up on darker skin. I can't get it to show up on my hand, but it does show up on my skin. And it is like the NARS Orgasm blush, except it's a peachy color. It has that luminous appearance on your skin. I'm not wearing it today. Today, I'm wearing this Hourglass Quad here that is new to my collection. So it's not quite a favorite yet, but it will be. This is another one of those drugstore products. It's Milani. I've been reaching for this over other high-end products. That's how good this is and how much I've been loving it all month. I'm so glad I bought a new one and can experience it all over again. It is so good. Uh, let me tell you guys, this was a product I hauled, The Ordinary. It's an AHA BHA peeling solution. It's an exfoliator like the one by Good Molecules, except this one tingles a lot and you're supposed to wash this off. The other one I think you can wear overnight. This one you have to take off. This works really well for exfoliating, but you have to have thick skin to wear this, guys, because it is going to tingle a lot. Like, when the 10 minutes are up that I wear this, I'm ready to take it off, but I do feel like it has exfoliated my skin and gotten rid of dead skin cells and all of that. So, it is good, but I just wanted to tell you guys it's intense. Been loving my Anastasia Brow Definer in dark brown, and this one has a uh, the product on one side is the chunkier kind. I'm wearing it today. It's what I use to sculpt my brows today. And the spoolie on the other side. I also like the one by Fenty Beauty. I don't have it over here right now because I haven't been using it all month. I tried it out and it's amazing though. So I will probably make a switch at some point and leave this one here and switch them out. But it is really good too. Last two products guys. I don't want to tell you guys about this because it was limited edition. They don't make this anymore. But I had to tell you guys because I enjoyed it so much this month. It's at the end of the video, so maybe not everybody's going to be watching. <laughs> this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. They don't make this anymore. You guys are my friends, and I just wanted to share with you how much I've been loving it. Even though they don't make this one, they still make other glow kits. And I have another one that I love too, but I didn't take that one with me. I decided to take this one with me because I knew I would not be filming with this because it was limited edition and you can't buy it. So I have it on today. Do you see, do you see that? I have on um, these two right here. Those are the two shades I kind of like mixing together. Oh, they are to die for this one has more glitter in it the glow getter it has more glitter in it but i like mixing those two and i've been using all of them except this one i don't think i use that too much but again it is so good you might not be able to get this one again but maybe just go check out the glow kits and see what's in stock right now and what they have right now because this just reminded me how good the glow kits are they're just so good my final product oh no 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 also still loving the still loving the Ciate London like watermelon lip burst whatever this is called. It's like a lip oil and I just re-upped on this. So I just keep bringing it up in all my videos because it's just so good and I just want y'all to go experience it. My last product is this Terracotta Four Seasons and this is by Guerlain. They don't make this anymore. I have it on today. They don't make this anymore, but I just re-upped on it in the regular bronzer, like the regular bronzer powder. They don't make the terracotta number seven anymore, but they make terracotta number five. So I just purchased the number five because I know I've had these a while, both of these, and they, they probably expired. <laughs> but I started using this again, and I really especially like using it with this brush that has the animal fiber. I found that it really picks up the bronzer really, really well and distributes it on my face perfectly. And I just kind of remembered how good. I just 
remembered how good the Guerlain bronzers are. So the reason I wanted to bring this one up, even though they don't make this particular one, is just to let you guys know. Check out the other one that they still make. They make the other bronzer and they make like a sculpting one that sort of looks like this. But these were my babies. I had this one and I had the number seven, but they were my babies when I first started using bronzer and they're the best. And I've tried all these other ones. I still love my Becca one too. That's still, you know, that's still Bay. But I just wanted to tell you guys, the Guerlain is just like one of those staple pieces that you need in your collection because they're sophisticated. It's just a work of art. The craftsmanship that they put into the packaging is just amazing. And it's just good. It's expensive, but it is good. If you hung in there with me to the end, use one of the emojis that represent Halloween. Like the jack-o'-lantern, the ghost, the clown. <laughs> Any of those, okay? What's your favorite one? I like the clown. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging in there with me until the end. I really appreciate it. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I will respond. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button before you leave. I would love to have you join the Savvy family. So I'll be seeing you guys again very soon in my next video. So until the next time we meet again, this is Savvy signing out.